Welcome along everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this card. As you can see it's not a card, it's a print of the card um, which I called Sugar Plum Fairy and um, the originals with Wendy. And to make this card I used the girl stamp, let me turn that the right way, the girl stamp from the old oak tree which is part of the new collection. Okay, so we'll get going. So we're going to take our girl and I'm going to give her a good inking all over with First Fine Claire Morning Mist. And then I'm going to lay off a little bit of this ink because I don't want a really dark impression. So I think you see it comes up quite dark, that ink. So now I've laid a little bit off, I'm now going to place that in the middle of my card and then press quite hard because I want the rest of the ink on there to transfer like that. Now, if you want it darker than that, you can, but I think, um, you know, or you can colour it in later. We're going to colour in the bodice anyway, so that's entirely up to you. And then before I start colouring, I'm just going to add a little point with a pencil to the bottom, oh, no, just my luck it breaks, um, to the bottom of the, what would be the foot, and then just follow the line up so it looks more like a ballet shoe. And with this one, just extend that down like that. And then just do a couple of little crisscrosses up the leg. Now, if you, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to, um, you can just, paint the bottom in a colour that matches the dress. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to, I'm going to do this one a slightly um, darker colour than the colour I used in the original, um, mainly because I think you'll be able to see it better on the video. So I'm going to start off with Peony and I'm just going to take a little bit on a dry baby wipe just run a bit off onto the paper and then where the bottom of the dress is on the print, I'm just going to cover that up a little bit so I can see where I need to bring the colour down to. And then with my pencil, I'm just going to give myself a very faint sort of guide to where I want the skirt to come out. So just either side, just a faint line can you see what I'm doing I'm not too worried about this hand that's going to be covered up so don't worry too much about that so now I've done that I'm going to take a little bit more of my peony and I'm going to go in the top half of the skirt and just blend the darker colour like this in between the pencil lines it doesn't matter if you go over them slightly because that's the whole nature of this. It's supposed to be quite airy, so don't worry about that. But what we're trying to do is just cover up the line there. Can you see what I'm doing? Just so that looks like the top half of the tutu and that we don't have that line then coming along the bottom like that. Okay, and then we're just pulling that out. Just pull that out with your baby wipe a little bit like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in again, just at the very top again. Like this. Until I'm satisfied that that line is almost as good. Now, don't forget, we're going to be putting colours over the top of this. So, it, you know, it doesn't matter. You can still see it a little bit because that will be covered up in a minute. And then try and just keep the shape of your tutu there. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do is splodge a little bit of this peony colour onto my mat. Take a very fine paintbrush. Now, you don't have to paint this if you don't want to. I'm just going to take a bit of kitchen roll because I don't want this soaking wet. Remember, the card will crinkle up if you soak it, because this is a watercolour card. 
Um, you don't have to use a paintbrush. You can do this with uh, a pencil. Um, you can even do it with shading if, if you want to. You can just carry on with a baby wipe and um, and do it with the shading. But I, I wanted to do it, make it look a slightly darker so that the bodice is distinguishable. So I'm just giving her a little strap there and then just taking it down. You don't have to be careful about this because that's why I've left the imprint of the ballet dancer quite pale because really the dress is the feature of this and um, that, that means you don't have to be so accurate. Um, you know, I'm not very, I'm not very confident. Uh, um, well, I'm a bit, I'm a bit messy, so I'm not very good at, you know, fine detail. So it suits me that this just sort of merges in with the hair like that. And then I think we'll bring this right down, this darker colour, right down here. Now, I'm, I'm, I know this is taking a while, but can you see what I'm doing? I'm dipping the brush in the water and then dipping onto this, oh, not onto my card, hopefully, and um, dipping onto my kitchen roll because I, I you know, obviously I don't, <coughs> excuse me, I don't want to so soak the brush. And then just carry on bringing that down into the top. And, and so what I'm going to do now is make like a frill at the top with this darker colour. Now, like I say, you don't have to do this with a paintbrush. You can do it with a pencil. You can do it with a baby wipe because we're going to put some lines over it with the fan brush afterwards. So, you know, if you haven't got a whole load of um, paintbrushes or you haven't got a small paintbrush like this, then please don't think you can't do this because you can. And I would say this is um, fairly easy to do. I mean, you know, it's um, it's not something you have to be really skilled to do. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> OK. So now I've got the uh, bodice done. What I want to do is just bring the skirt down a little bit because I want to make it just a little bit longer than that. If you want a short skirt, obviously, you can leave it like that. So I'm just going to extend that down. And can you see what I'm doing? I'm using sort of... I'm, I'm, Dipping into my ink, rubbing it off onto my mat, and then just using sweeping movements to bring it down like this. And then because of the type of baby wipe I'm using, which has got, you know, it gives you these natural sort of lines, which is quite handy. But you see what, what's happening. You get that, you get that look at the bottom, which is what we're after, really. So I'm just going to bring extend the darker colour down a little bit until I'm satisfied and then I'm just going to go back in just because I can still see that line a little bit so I'm just going to go back in there like that right that's fine I'm happy with that I'm just going to wipe my hands and now you, you it's important now you have a look and and see what sort of shape you've got and it, it I don't know what, whether you agree but if you look at mine I've got quite a nice shape this side it's not so good this side so I'm going to redraw my pencil line out of it like that and then I'm just going to go back with my baby wipe and this time I'm going to turn my card around just so I can get that angle a little bit better like that and I say, don't worry if you go over the line, it doesn't matter because that's the whole nature of this card. Yeah, just a little bit more, I think. Now, you can spend as long or as little as you like on this. You know, I'm, I'm happy with that now. I think that's that's got the right shape. So I'm just going to clear up where I've splodged the ink. There. And then what I'm going to do, I've got the paler uh, pink here called Orchid. So I'm going to splodge a bit of that on my mat. Now, my Orchid is running out a little bit, so I might have to take it straight off um, the ink pad. Now, you take the fan brush, dip it in the water, but then you 
really dry it thoroughly on your kitchen roll. So really, it is just damp, all right? And then brush it on your ink. Now, obviously, if you've got a brand new ink pad or you don't know what your ink pad's gonna look like, I suggest you just try running it off onto a bit of card for a bit of paper first to see what you're gonna get like that. So I'm gonna just run it around the side because this is a very dry ink pad, so I'm just gonna run it around the side. And then I'm gonna take my brush and just go over the top. And in fact, I have another one here, a brand new pad called Petal Pink, which I think probably has got more ink on it. So I'm gonna try that. And then, yeah, you can see. So you're just making strokes, downward strokes, with your fan brush. Now you can either do this this way, like that, or you can take it from the top and do it downwards like that, whichever way you think is best. And what we're trying to do with this is trying to create that look of sort of net, you know, that the material these, these type of dresses are made from. So we're not really trying to lay colour so much over it, it's more just that that voile sort of effect. Okay, so I think that's probably enough. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm not gonna to bother to clean my brush. I'm gonna do exactly the same with the peony. So we're just gonna go down, probably need a little bit more. It's always best to just do this in stages because if you, if you have got new ink pads and you go in and it's really dark, you might it, you might think you've overdone it a little bit so you know don't worry about if it's not showing up at first it's much better to just take it in increments like this okay and then i'm going to bring that down a little bit like that okay so i think for now that's fine now as you can see I'm just going to dry that off, sorry, because I don't want to get my card wet. As you can see, I've sort of obscured the arm here slightly. Now, you can just go in with a pencil and just put that back in, but I don't think it really matters with this, and you can sort of accentuate this arm if you want to. Um, I don't think it matters because I think, you know, you, you're just giving people the idea, the form of a ballet dancer. So we're, we're more concentrating on the dress in this rather than the person. But if you like to go in and paint the hair and everything, you, you know, that, that it's entirely up to you. It's your, it's your card. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this lighter pink with a little bit of the peony. I'm going to mix them together, just a tiny dab of water. Mix them together. And then I'm just gonna sort of just do a wash over her hair. I don't want it any more than a wash, really. And again, you, you don't have to paint this. You can do it with your with your baby wipe. In fact, to be honest, a baby wipe probably would have been better. But as I was holding the paintbrush, I'll, um, I'll just carry on with that, like that. And that's all you have to do. Just that little, again, just a suggestion. And then I'm just gonna dab it a little bit because as I always say to you in these videos, I've got to move on with this. Um, you know, it's much better if you let, if you, like when you're doing the layers of the dress, if you let them dry in between, as you put the next layer on, you'll see the brush strokes much better. Now, while that's getting a chance to dry a little bit, I'm gonna take my blending brush I'm going to take the peony colour, oh, I'm getting all cack handed here, and I'm just going to run it along the brush like that, put that back, and then I'm going to just run it off onto this scrap paper so I don't get any lumps. You've seen me do this before. I think it's quite important when you're blending because then you don't get those horrible harsh lines. And then I'm just going to run it around the edge of the card like this particularly into the corners. So when I get to the corners, I'm pressing a little bit harder. And I've just got to turn that around so I can finish. And then go down the side and then just finish that corner. And again, you can make that shading as dark or as light as you want to. 
And obviously you can do this belly dancer in any color that you choose. I've already, I did the pink and the blue one just to show you, but obviously, you know, you can tailor it to whatever color you want to. Now I'm going to take my Signo pen and, you know, we've spoken about these before. Sometimes you just have to run them off before you use them onto a bit of paper. And, it, and when you do that, you see sometimes you get a little clog on the end. If that happens, just wipe it off onto your baby wipe so you've got a nice clean line. And then literally just going to stroke like that from the bodice down. And then I, before it has a chance to dry, I'm just going to take my baby wipe and just blend blend that top bit in so we haven't got those, make them a bit more subtle like that. Now, I don't know if you can see that, so I'm just going to do it again. And this time I'm going from the bottom up. So up, Now again, I'm having tr a little bit of trouble with this because my ink is still wet. So um, please allow your ink to dry. You'll get much better results. And then I say, just go in and blend that. Blend that off like that. Now, if you haven't got one of these Signo pens, um, but you do have a, a Posca pen. Now, Posca pens are quite, you know, they've got thick nibs, so you wouldn't be able to do that technique. But I'll show you another way to do it. So if you shake your Posca pen up and then you pump it onto the mat, so like this. You can see mine's running out. That might be enough to show you though. And then you take your fan brush again, make sure you've rinsed it clean because obviously you've been using pink. So Make sure it's as dry as it can be. Just a mark on there, sorry, get rid of those. That's from my pen. Dip it in the ink and then you do. See, you get the same sort of effect. In fact, it's probably a little bit more effective. So whatever you have in your stash, if you don't have either of those inks, you can use white ink, you can use Brilliance Moonlight. The only thing I've found with that is it does sink into the other colour a little bit, whereas the Posca pen ink sort of sits on top. So, you you know, it stays looking like that. And um, if you're going to use white Brilliance ink or something, I suggest that you um, do it, see what it looks like, and then you might have to go in and do it again. So I think that's probably enough. And then I'm going to paint the ballet shoes that I've created. Now, again, you can do this with pencil. You can do it. You don't have to do it at all. If you don't want to, you can leave them like that. Um, but I'm going to, I'm just going to mix a little bit of that white in with this to make it a little bit lighter. And then I'm just going to go in. This isn't the greatest paintbrush, as you can see. So I'm just going to go in and paint the bottom. Of the belly shoe like that. And then give the illusion of the ribbons. Now this really just has to be an idea. You, you don't, you know. And then I'm going to go over that with my kitchen roll, like that. And then I'm gonna go in with the lighter pink, just to make that a little bit, um, it's, a little, it's a little bit dark at the moment. So I'm just gonna go back in with my pink, just to tone that down a little bit, especially around where I probably made that pencil mark a little bit dark, so just to mark that. So you can see, really, that's just a suggestion of a valley shoe there. Um, I did take a, a little bit more time on the samples, um, but really, I just wanted to show you, you, you know, I'm no no artist. <laughs> That's why I love Wendy Stamps, because she's the artist, really. So it just gives you an idea. And then we're going to take a little bit of this colour here 
and I'm just going to create a bit of grounding. And again, I just want this really very faint like that. In fact, I think that's probably enough like that. And then I'll probably just go in and just draw in because obviously she's she's uh, that that would be the back of her foot so we want that to look like the back of her foot and that one to come around like that and then when you've done that you can just take your color and just brush down where you've done that. Okay. So the other thing I did before I, because I'm going to put some glitter on the dress, but before I do that, just to give this a little bit more interest, because it's, it's a relatively plain card, I'm going to squadge a bit of the peony on there, as you can see. And I'm going to take my stamp i'm going to take it off the block and i'm going to give it a really good clean with um i use a microfiber cloth you can see and then i'm going to dry it thoroughly now if you're really good you can actually make a mask but frankly i can't be bothered so if you can see i'm just making sure there's no black on this or gray okay and then i'm just going to place it over her because when I splatter this, I don't want it to go actually on the ballet dancer. So I dip my brush into the water again. And again, I'm just going to take some of that off. Dip it into that ink. And then we're just going to tap lightly around the card. in that darker colour. I think that's enough. I hope you can see that on the video. It's not always that clear because it's quite small, but it just gives a little bit of interest um, to this card, I think, because I say, you know, really your main focus is the ballet dance, so we don't want to go too mad. Now I'm going to lift that off. And again, I'd say to you, ideally you'd now let that all dry. Um, you know I don't have that luxury, so I'm going to now put the glitter on and I'm going to put my ballet dancer on the card. I'm going to take a quickie glue pen and again sometimes you have to just check these the rollables working on these so that's fine. Now you can do this one of two ways. I quite like to do it like this in the stripes that we've done with the white pen but if you don't want to do that you can you can dot as well like that. It, it's entirely up to you. Um, we'll do a bit of both for this one I think and then you can I'm going to actually ink up the bodice as well uh, sorry glue up the bodice as well and then this amazing um, glitter which is available on the website glamour dust we're just going to cover now obviously because some of my ink's wet I might you, you might find it it on this card it sticks to everything but I'll just flick that off and I'm just going to move this out of the way for the moment oh <laughs> now you can see there that you get these lines um what I did with the original when it's dry when the glue's dry if you then go over it with a just a dry brush it looks much nicer. You can just smooth these out. Now, it probably won't work now because the glue obviously is still a little bit wet, but I'm just going to try and show you what I mean because we don't really want those harsh lines sticking out. And then let me just tap that onto a bit of paper. And just a little bit more. Like I say, if you leave this till it's dry, it, it just sort of brushes off naturally like that 
And if you wanted to, if you wanted to add little dots of um, glitter glue around where you've done the splattering, well, that's entirely up to you. Um, also, if you wanted, like I said before, if you wanted to go in and paint the, the rest of this, that's entirely up to you. But I think the beauty of this is its simplicity. And basically, the um, you know it's a ballerina when you look at it um, without having to be a great artist because Wendy's giving you the figure. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to having you along the next time. Thank you for watching.